There are many patterns in time on Earth which are caused by the motions of space objects such as the Earth, the Sun, and the Moon. Some of these patterns are the 24-hour night and day cycle, the month-long moon cycle, and the 360.25 day yearly cycle. Another one of these patterns is the seasons that we experience on the Earth. Each of these patterns is caused by a specific motion. For example, the night and day cycle is caused by the rotation of the Earth on its axis. The moon phase cycle is caused by the revolution of the moon around the Earth. And the year cycle is caused by the revolution of the Earth around the Sun. We will look at the motions and the other properties that cause the seasons we experience on the Earth. It is often assumed that the warmer temperatures that we experience during the summer in the Northern Hemisphere are caused by our distance from the Sun and that we're closer to the sun during the summer than we are in the winter. This seems to make sense because when you're closer to an object that's giving off heat, like a fire, it's warmer. But when you're farther away from that object, it's cooler. But this is not the case with the seasons on the Earth. We are actually closer to the sun during winter than we are during summer. So what is it that causes these different temperatures and different seasons that we experience? Summer in the Northern Hemisphere actually marks the time when we are furthest from the Sun in the Earth's orbit. In fact, during the month of July, we are about 152 million kilometers or 95 million miles away from the Sun. And during the winter, during the month of January, we are 147 million kilometers or about 90 million miles away from the Sun. So what causes us to have warmer temperatures when we're further away from the Sun and colder temperatures when we're closer to the Sun. The major cause of the seasons is the axis tilt of the Earth as compared to its orbital plane. This means that instead of the Earth's rotational axis being straight up and down, it is actually tilted at an angle of about 23.5 degrees from the orbital plane. And it's this tilt that causes the variations in our seasons throughout the year. This axis tilt makes it so that the northern and the southern hemispheres receive different amounts of directness of light at different times of the year. What is meant by this is during the summer, the northern hemisphere is tilted or leaning towards the sun and therefore it receives more direct sunlight, whereas the southern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun and receives less direct sunlight. This also explains why the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere have opposite seasons. When it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. When it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere, it's summer in the Southern Hemisphere. This leaning towards or leaning away from the Sun changes how directly the sunlight hits the Earth's surface. This is also referred to as the angle of incidence, or the angle at which the sunlight hits the Earth's surface. This makes it so that during the summer, there is more direct sunlight hitting the surface and it is less spread out over the surface of the Earth. During the winter, this sunlight is more indirect, which means that that light is spread out over a larger area during the winter than it is in summer. This explains why the temperatures are generally lower during the winter months. There are also a few other special situations and properties of the seasons that are caused by both the axis tilt of the Earth and the Earth's orbit or revolution around the sun. These two properties cause four specific events in our seasons. These events are known as solstices and equinoxes. Solstices happen twice a year, one during the summer and one during the winter. The summer solstice usually takes place around July 21st every year, and it marks the time when the sun is the highest in the sky and the longest day of the year. The winter solstice, which usually takes place around December 21st, marks the point in the year when the sun is lowest in the sky and also the shortest day of the year. The two other events, the vernal equinox and the autumnal equinox, happen in March and September around the 21st of those months. The word equinox means equal night, and on these days there is an equal amount of day and night across the entire Earth. Now during the summer solstice, this is the point where the northern hemisphere is leaning the most it ever does towards the sun. And during the winter solstice, this is when the northern hemisphere is leaning the farthest away from the sun it ever does. During the equinoxes, the Earth is not leaning toward or leaning away from the sun. This explains why there is an equal amount of day and night at these events. In order to review, the distance the Earth is from the sun is not the direct cause of the seasons. In fact, the sun is closest to the Earth during winter for the northern hemisphere 
and furthest from the Earth during summer of the Northern Hemisphere. All of these changes in our seasons are caused by the tilt of the Earth on its axis as it orbits around the Sun. It is these two properties of the Earth and its orbit that cause the changes in our seasons. Let's compare and contrast the differences between winter and summer. During the summer, the light hitting the Earth's surface is more direct. The Sun is also higher overhead. It spends longer in the sky and there is more heat per centimeter hitting the Earth's surface which is caused by the sunlight being less spread out over the Earth's surface. This is opposite of what it's like during the winter. During the winter, the sunlight hitting the Earth's surface is more indirect, the sun is lower in the sky, we have shorter days, and there is less heat per centimeter because the sunlight hitting the Earth is spread out over a larger area. All of these things are caused by the axis tilt of the Earth and its motion around the sun throughout its orbit.